Today in the news, I talk about a chunk of Nvidia metal for way too long. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Nvidia. So the company has been making some pretty insane coolers in the last couple of years. I mean, you got the 3090, which was a behemoth in itself of a card at 12.3 inches long and 5.4 inches thick. Of course, the 4090, which is slightly smaller, albeit by a couple of millimeters. And both cards are actually three slots. Here, I got one right here. Hopefully you can see the thing. Yeah, it's three slots. New camera angle, isn't that cool? Well, it looks like this trend isn't over. Apparently, Nvidia is currently working on another RTX 4000 series card, and it's actually bigger. This cooler has leaked and looks like this. The X-Frame, like Nvidia calls it, is apparently four slots thick. You can tell that this one is a different model since it has the whole GeForce RTX indent here on the side, and the fins run in a completely different direction than the other 4000 series models. It's all straight fins instead of, you know, the usual V-shape like you see right here. Now, what's really interesting about this specific picture is this right here. On the side that is usually vertical on a GPU, this right here, well, there's a straight up cold plate and it looks like a GPU cold plate too. I mean, you can have the die right here with the memory surrounding it and over there, it looks like just the right amount of space for the VRM cooling. So this is technically a vertical GPU, but without a vertical GPU bracket. The PCB, instead of being a short one, like on the usual RTX 3 and 4000 cards, for example, here on the 4090, the PCB is all of this. This is just cooling. On that specific picture, it looks like the PCB would be either like right here or right down here. Which brings me to the question. I mean, I'm just speculating here wildly, but could this mean that there's space for two GPUs here? Like one right here and one, uh, well, well, I guess on the regular side. So one right here and maybe a GPU either vertically here or vertically here. That way, Nvidia could keep the whole flow through design that they have going on right here. And it wouldn't make the card super long like on older dual GPU cards since they had to have, you know, one chip here, one chip here and all of their power right around there. Here, actually, give me a second. I've got an example right there. These cards used to be much smaller. So a dual GPU was considered huge. If you take a look right here, there is one chip here, one chip here with all of the power management all the way around. So you can see here the VRMs, VRMs, and the two GPUs. So instead of doing it like that and making the 4090 way wider, they could have two, one here and one either here or at the bottom. This is an R9 295X2, by the way. It was two 290Xs for a Crossfire config. Something else about that specific leak is that this cooler would be for a card that has a TDP of 900 watts or exactly the TDP of two 4090s. So in my opinion, it's not that far-fetched. GPU manufacturers have been working a whole lot over the last couple of years to make two GPU chips work as one for gaming. Back then we had Crossfire and SLI, but those were two GPU dies working together and being recognized as two different entities like the 295X2. And we saw where that got us. These technologies are pretty much dead. And even NVLink, something that stayed up until the 3090 Ti was killed with the 4090. Making two GPU dies work as one is the new goal. And we've seen many patents from AMD about a chiplet design with active bridges. Apparently that's coming with RDNA 3 in the far future. And even Intel has been working on this with a tile-based rendering system patent. I've covered those in the past. So uh, could it be that Nvidia just figured it out for a gaming GPU? Because the GeForce branding on there 100% confirms that this isn't a workstation card, or at least it won't be marketed as uh, just that. GeForce is the gaming division of Nvidia. Anyways, what are your thoughts on this? 
Do you think it's just one elongated PCB here or on the other side and Nvidia is just doing this for optimal cooling? Like basically it would be all fins and the fans would just blow through on all sides. I mean, at that point, the PCB isn't blocking anything anymore. So it would be a pretty good cooling solution. Or are we looking at two separate GPUs here? Let me know what your thoughts are down below. I mean, I can't believe I just spent all this time on pictures of a cooler, but they really got my brain running. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, it's right here. You can see the latest video right here. So subscribe to the channel, stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.